2, let's play Battlefleet Gothic with me, Demonox. When I last left off, we picked up the mighty battleship. We have it now. We have the biggest ship we can get in the game. And this is actually, for once, has nothing going on in it, which is fine. Now, please, I would love it if nothing else happened next turn. If it's just literally this lot. And I can chew them down a bit more. Until it's the opponent, you are eventually going to lose all the worlds. If you can't keep on top of them. And it will get harder and harder as you go along. Admiral Spire, there we go. There's been a development in the Gothic War. Ah. Our sector is secured by six massive installations known as the Blackstone Fortresses. Uh -huh. The fourth of these fortresses is stationed in the Rebo system. We've just received an astropathic message from this Blackstone Fortress, indicating a disastrous event. According to the message, a massive Chaos War fleet of over 20 vessels, wow. including two despoiler class battleships, has launched a surprise attack on the Blackstone Fortress. The astropath informed us that the fortress mysteriously lost all power just before the battle began, leaving the station defenseless. It is believed that Abaddon himself is leading the attacking war fleet. Do we know if there were any survivors? Ooh. We lost the link with the astropath. We must presume every man and woman aboard the Blackstone Fortress is dead. Even more importantly, mm. the message has confirmed my worst fears. The Chaos Fleet has taken or destroyed one of our most powerful installations. It is likely that the Blackstone Fortress now lies under enemy control. Damn. They got it. Oh, well, at least they haven't got a massive number of new guys attacking us. Two in that one, and a break from assassination. Still only ten, up ten, which is good. So they've taken one of our Blackstone Fortresses. The Rebo system. Okay, so I've lost that world perma by the sound of it. Uh, nobody's got the uh, death mark on them, which means... He's one that's stuck in... Now my Blackstone Fortress. Still is right, there's a bit suspicious that all of a sudden it would get... Ah, Breakthrough Defender. Defender is a little easier because we actually ha don't have to push through anything. We just have to attack and destroy ships. They're the ones that have to do all the running around because we, we just have to stay put, stand put and blow them up. Now here's what I was on about by point wise. This bad boy is worth 252 points. To the point at which that I can only take. Uh, let's see if I take him. And an escort. So I don't want to take. Technically, no, he definitely brings an escort with him. That's why I want him in the first place. Well, if I take the Cobra anyway. He has full things, which means he can pull it up. If PFP, I don't have like another 100 points. If I could bring one of these other guys up along. He is, well, Emperor. The honor of retribution. He is as powerful as you get. He's got full ordnance base on this guy. A free launch per bay. Uh, attacks against one per bomber. Damage 30 per bomber. This guy has four bays. That's twelve bombers. If all twelve of them manage to strike home, that's over a hundred and thirty. That's over a hundred and twenty points. A three per bay. He's got four bays. So, yeah, twelve bombers. Each one. No, no, scratch. Each one doing thirty. Sorry, no, scratch that. That's three hundred and 60 points in one go if they all manage to hit we'll take the extra Corvette to he is huge 
And that's the battleship because he's the only guy without an order on him right now. And he's massive even compared to the other fella. <laughs> the big battle cruiser that we've been running around with, our biggest ship going, is smaller than him. That's a battleship. That's a battle. That's a that's a smaller guy. That's a battle cruiser. That's a battleship. <laughs> He's gigantic compared to him. Yes, Admiral. Oh, no, you don't. Enemy ship sighted. The light cruiser. Awaiting orders. He's orders received. He has macro batteries. Heavy plasma batteries, sorry, which have got twelve thousand range. Stasis bomb. Your orders? Orders received. I suppose I can't kill those probes. Ship ready. Understood. Awaiting orders. Engaging. Helm coordinates acknowledged. At your command. Want your front facing cannons, please? Enemy ship sighted. Oh, that guy is dead. Well dead. Awaiting orders. Engines hot. The one they haven't yet identified is him. Say that you should Enemy be ship sighted. Underway. Bonk, bonk. Your orders. Okay, is he blown up yet? Yes, Admiral. Setting course. Your orders. He's yeah, a massive. The guy with the massive beam cannon all the way over there. Engaging. Taking heavy damage. We lost a defense platform. Not surprised. Enemy ship sighted. Activating tactical cogitators. Yeah, he's. Ship ready. Resuming normal functions. At your command. Oh, and they went to the generators. Understood. Yes, Admiral. He's used up, so he's going to be blown command. up soon. Target locked in. Ship ready. Ship crippled, Admiral. Yes, Admiral. We lost a defense platform. I lost the fire yes, too. Admiral. Awaiting orders. Your orders. Dum 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 dum.
Enemy ship sighted. Dun, 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 For the Emperor. Dun, 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 dun. He, he can't stealth. He's not inside his um. Awaiting orders. Oh, got him. Course plotted. Be very accurate. At your command. Hello, breached. I don't meant to turn these damn things on auto engagement. Ship ready. Oh, I can't get them. Awaiting orders. Auto engagement. Uh, I think it escaped. At your command. Your orders. Hit Bomb the brakes. Retros. <laughs> That's just macro cannons. Be hyperactive. Active. Active. Hyperact. Become hyperactive. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that sugar boy for the emperor. That's your command. Engines to maximum. Come on, through the asteroid field fast. Cruising speed set. Oh, we are escaping. I paused him outside the asteroid field because I knew for his gun weapon range is ridiculous. Those are heavy plasma mach cannons. A critical hit from one of those buggers can cause te temporary or permanent damage to a ship. You can essentially you can disable whole systems with the damn things. Ooh, nice score point though. Yep, and just because he and when you didn't think he get more dangerous, he gets more dangerous. Dauntless is... He's well rocking that ship. That ship has been good for me for ages since I got him. Back to port. As we have new stuff. I wonder if the uh, macro plasma cannons work the same way as macro cannons. If I can reduce their um, inaccuracy. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's selected, so I'll look, look at him properly now. Right, that is the battle cruiser. You don't get a size perspective here. Because each ship you know, zooms in to look at them, but. As you saw in the game, compared to my battle cruiser, Mars, the Sword of Marinus, he's tiny! My battle cruiser is tiny compared to this thing. Well, you're getting a squadron bomb upgrade immediately. You know, thirty percent chance of not being blown up. I'll have that. Considering you deploy twelve guys a shot and can deal up to three hundred points of damage. Over 360 points of damage a shot, that's, you know. By the way, he has a thousand hull integrity. He has 800. My little cruiser has 800, and I think I gave him the upgrades for it. You know, cruisers have 800. Light cruisers only have 600. If you then got smacked for 360 points of damage, that for him is mo ninety percent of his health gone in one go. His health will just plummet like a rock. He still has upgrades to and skills to be added on because I ran out of money. And it's ultra expensive. 
Ah, damn. Also, Squadron deployment quicker. Yeah, macro weapons are less. Reduce. Oh, 6k, the accuracy of macro weapons is reduced by 50%. So if 12k, there's now only 40% loss of accuracy. Now three fouls, oh, I'll put it the three fouls I don't think he really would be caring at that range, you don't want to fight him. Yeah, unfortunately it's so expensive to actually get to four. He has more skills though. So I can give him an auger probe. And I can give him... Disruptor bombs are very handy for shield... Field, shield duking. I'd rather have the... Um, auger probe, because then I can scan out for enemies. No, this one, this version, because it's a. This one fires a beacon. State, that's a post station beacon. That's the probe that fires at long range. We're going to have to win another battle just to afford the upgrades to pay for this guy. Well, at least retaliations. Don't have leveled up. To be perfectly honest, though, he's actually running out of things I can possibly give him upgrades for. He's quickly running out of them. I mean, next one would probably be the master, the master gunner, to make his beam weapons more effective. But other than that, he's got everything I need on him. His servitors are up high. His gunners are fine. Right, that's one chaos fleet destroyed. That was defender. I think we're playing the assassin, the attacker. Yep, 600. I didn't save. Just have to restart the mission. You do get the realization that this guy is going to be practically on every fleet now. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You could. Te I could technically not take him and take my usual foursome. My usual squad. I take him all the time because he has that Imperial Guard Navy thing on him. And I'm wondering about giving him the uh, Imperial... The Inquisitor perk or the Imperial Guard perk. If I give him the Inquisitor, I get a point in everything in the one go. Where if I take the, Inquis the Imperial Navy, I can make him into a ship spawner. I will have to, you know, he can ping out and find people immediately. It's the sheer scopes. I, I can't get over the sheer scope and size of that guy compared to his counterpart. Destroy him. This is a little bombing ship with over three. If you go on attack from, if both of them land hits, that's over three. God. Uh, don't know where he is. Usually, put me up in the middle. We're fine. Now, if you look at the scope scale here, this guy has four ordnance bays. This guy has only two ordnance bays. He deals three bombs apiece, so he launches six bombers. He launches twelve bombers. He gets. He can deal up to a hundred and nope. Six bombers, thirty apiece. Three sixes. Basic mathematics have gone out the window. A hundred and eighty. So yeah, that's roughly about one hundred and eighty points a shot for him. For all six of him, he's three hundred and sixty. Fine. Pause. Where are you? I was put my camera in the wrong direction, didn't I? Target locked in. Resuming normal functions. 
No, if it would make him even better was if he had missile launchers too. Awaiting orders. Yeah, no, he's got stasis bombs. Yes, Admiral. Ship oh, that hit. Ready. Enemy ship sighted. Ship ready. Enemy ship sighted. Bulkheads collapsing, sir. An escort. You've done your job. You've set fire to the guy. Ready. Yes, Admiral. Enemy ship sighted! Your orders? Reloading! A little faster. Reloading. Your orders. That's the running again. Oh, it's a hit. Awaiting orders. All ahead, full. Dun, 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 dun. I took him out. Awaiting orders. Yeah, he has invulnerability now. Your orders. Cruising speed set. Yes, Admiral. Hyper accurate. At your command. You want to be fun facing, to be honest. Ship ready. Underway. Spin the cannon, spin the cannon, spin the cannon, spin the cannon, spin the cannon. I've got 29 seconds to kill him. Your command. Awaiting orders. No target him. Get closer. For the Emperor. Boom. Ship ready. Now let's kill everybody else. They tried for it, we lost one little escort ship. But the the objective of that was to run in there quick and blow him up. They win if he escapes. But you see the amount of pummeling though the battlecruiser took. The battleship took. Everyone else, they literally were piling bullets into him. And they were not, they were barely denting his, denting him, denting him. They had the little crews were firing like, like the into him like the Dickens, and they were doing virtually no damage. He has that much HP that a strike from a Nova kind like that would do nothing. It wouldn't even scrap, it would take off less than a quarter of a fifth of his health. And it's got to get through his shields first. They're at 200 points, and I think his shield's pretty much higher than 200. I'm not even sure a hit from the Nova Cam would actually penetrate his shields. Hey, we've got one more action for this one as well now. Yay! Let's see. So, what's it? Yeah, we haven't got enough money yet to buy your upgrades. You need another fight still. Let's see. Her integrity. He's got 400 shields. I don't think his troop value goes up. No, his troop value hasn't gone up at all. Humans don't have a high troop value. Oh wow, he's got a Prow Augur Array? He has plus 5,000 on his thing. I was gonna say, he ain't going to get that. Cool, can we explain why he's got this weird gunner thing on his front? an auger array about lots of it. 
But no, that is the battleship. He is huge, he's costly, but dear God does he hit like a ton of bricks. It is the biggest ship you can get for the Imperial for the Imperial Navy. That's the biggest ship you can get in the game. And that's gonna bring out a special one for the campaign only and call it the Death Dealer or something. But the, the ship's huge. It packs a load of firepower. It is going to happily wreck everybody. And I like him so much that he gets his own title for this episode. He is Battleship. But that's it for this episode, folks. When we come back, um, I shall bring forth... I actually think I wiped out the Chaos guys for this one. All the Chaos missions. So, I will double check, and I will then pick probably the Eldar, who are doomed that they are fighting a battleship. I haven't actually seen the Eldar battleship yet, though. Hmm. Should really look at that. Anyway, that's for next time, folks. Until then, until then. I'll catch you all later. See ya.